Historically, for a very long time, in the United States and all over the world, people have been living longer hours. Longer hours. People have been living longer lives. Their life expectancy is going up. And yet what Sabrina was saying is that in McDowell County and in many parts of America now, we are actually seeing a decrease in life expectancy. You all know that? A decrease. And the reason for that is that millions of Americans now are living in despair. They have no work or the income they are living with is so low that they're turning to drugs, they're turning to alcohol, and the suicide rate in this country is going up. And that is a question. Why? What goes on? How does it happen that in the wealthiest country in America, we have a life expectancy gap between McDowell County and Fairfax County, Virginia, of 18 years? 18 years for men. All right. 18 years, the gap is lower, I think it's 13 for women, but 18 years for men. So if you are born into a wealthy community, if you do not have the stress of living with poverty, if you got the health care that you need, if you are in a wealthy community, you can live 18 years longer than if you are in a poor community like that in McDowell County. In other words, poverty is a death sentence. Now, when people talk about poverty, often they say, well, it's too bad somebody is poor. They can't buy a big flat screen TV. Their car is old. They can't go to a fancy restaurant. That is not what we're talking about. What poverty means is the stress of trying to determine how you're going to feed your family and your kids that week. How you're going to have enough money, how you're going to have enough money to put gas in the car to get to work, because if you don't have gas in the car or your car breaks down and you can't get to work, you lose your job, and if you lose your job, you got no money and your life is radically altered. Yeah. Poverty is getting sick and not having the money to go to the doctor or not having the money to pay for the de deductible or the co-payment that you need. Poverty is having children who will never for one moment think that they will ever get to college because their families are so poor. So as a nation, we have got to recognize that we have one of the highest rates of childhood poverty of any major country on earth. About 22% of our kids are living in poverty. We have 47 million Americans living in poverty. And if elected president of the United States, this is an issue we will deal with. <laughs>